Hi there, my name's Mark. I'm the centre manager down here at Caloundra Little Athletics uh, down at North Street, Caloundra. We're a summer competition. We uh, operate from the 12th of September through to the end of March. We range from uh, tiny tots from four years old to uh, under 17s. Being athletics and a running track, we need to make sure that we try and keep the uh, field as low as possible around the outside. We mow once a week, and to do this uh, previously has uh, used to take us about three hours to mow the field. Uh, we now invested in a new mower that we got a grant for, and that has cut the time uh, back down to about an hour and three quarter. Hi, my name is Nathan Walker Edwards. I'm the coordinator of sports venues and development. So my team looks after um, about 400 odd not-for-profit sports clubs around the region. Uh, we, we assist them with their governance, their strategic planning, facility upgrades, and their financial management. So instead of um, uh, the clubs pulling all their money into the f uh, field upgrades, they can uh, apply for councils, community grants, and that. Um, uh, allows them an opportunity to apply for equipment. Um, it could be programs that they want to deliver. It could be facility upgrades. So there's a range of benefits there and a range of different funding amounts that they can apply for. Can be a lot of hard work because uh, it is such a massive field here. And we also have the, uh, the shot put and long jump area over, over the back there that we have to maintain as well. My name's Jack Ray. I work as the Parks Community Sports Field Officer in Parks and Gardens for the Sunshine Coast Council. So we do a lot of work on preparing management plans for sports fields, focusing on healthy turf, uh, turf nutrition, uh, good irrigation practices, water harvesting where possible, with a view to provide cost-effective management and maintenance solutions for sports fields. We also, at the start of our season, we fertilise and we spray for the weeds, a uh, clover. Um, and every so often when we've got enough money we try and aerate. Um, we share this also with the AFL so we work with them to get it done as well. Jack from the council helps us massively because the funding itself would not go far enough if Jack and his team didn't come down and help put out the fertiliser, help us organise the fertiliser through their suppliers and uh, also help us with the spraying contractors otherwise the the funding just wouldn't be, wouldn't be enough and wouldn't go far enough. So the sports field maintenance funding program model allows the clubs to leverage off council's internal knowledge and skills in the areas of sports field management and maintenance, club governance and development, and further enhance the club's uh, you know, capacity, membership, and ability to run and manage their sporting facilities. Since my observations back in 2011, there's been many benefits of the program. Uh, one is that clubs are really happy with the program. Um, it's allowed them to concentrate on uh, their core business, which is attracting members and getting kids and our seniors out active and healthy on um, sporting fields. So it can refocus their energies, I guess. Um, uh, instead of spending money on um, equipment and facility upgrades, they can concentrate all this money on uh, major renovations of their fields, or they can engage a contractor and get them to come in and mow their fields for them. The other thing we also have to spend the money on too is uh, line marking. That uh, money um, also goes to help supply the paint for doing all the line marking. And uh, as you can imagine, we have to do that once a week as well. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of, lot of paint and a lot of time that goes into it. We take control of the field after the AFL season and the field is generally in pretty rough condition from footy boots and so forth running all over it. We've got obviously small kids doing this, four-year-old, five-year-old kids with small feet that the field being very chopped up is dangerous to the kids running. So Jack comes down, he helps us top dress the field. They bring the tractor down, he helps organise all the top dressing material and everything. Clubs are able to um, uh, spend their dollars through the sports field maintenance funding program, specifically on field maintenance um, and upgrades. That allows them to free up some dollars to um, either contribute or apply for other um, funding programs through Council's Community Grants Program. So that could be sports equipment, it could be um, for sports programs or facility upgrades. Without this funding, we, uh, we would not be able to look, up, look after and maintain the field to the, to the point that it is now. There's a lot more for the field to be done 
and uh, you know it's very helpful that we've got Jack and his team there that we can contact and ask for any advice. Generally it's all at the start of the season. Some of the biggest challenges for the volunteers is uh, you know lack of knowledge and understanding on what they're actually trying to achieve and how to achieve it. Funding only goes so far so the clubs and the volunteers are required to put in a lot of uh, additional effort and support. So we try and do as much as we can to try and make uh, the plans and the programs we put in place as simple and achievable so that the clubs can get um, you know, the most bang for their buck and provide a great sporting facility for their members and uh, passive recreation places for the public as well. And it is a field that is used uh, 365 days of the year. Myself and my team get a lot of satisfaction out of supporting our community groups and it means a lot to those clubs, the, the work we do, and uh, I don't know, it means a lot to the community as well. A lot of clubs when they come here, they all, all do say how great the field is. We do put a lot of effort into the field. Without this help, uh, clubs like us, they don't exist and they don't, they don't work well. Uh, volunteers are only, we only have so much time to be able to do these things, so it's fantastic to have council to be able to help out. We thank and acknowledge the council and Jack and his team for all the support they give us, thank you.